hanging by a thread. Mm -hmm. Kind of like floating. It is. It is floating. We are here in Burlington at the Chase Mill, and for three weeks, they have been up in a basket, repointing the smokestack. Well, what I'm doing now is brick masonry, and this is brick restoration, and it's in a historic building, so this is a historic job. Basically, I've just lifted them up there to replace the bricks, fix the bricks in the mortar. Some of the bricks were falling out, putting holes in the roof. We're able to take out individual bricks or spots of bricks and put fresh ones in and fresh mortar and hopefully make it waterproof. You got to move very delicately because a, a little bit down here can be a lot up there. He is absolutely smooth. I have no worries when I'm up there. This is the first time I've really worked with him. Within a couple days, I had total trust. And I've been in man baskets before. What's I'm, it called? A man basket? A man basket? Or a personnel basket. Those are uh, certified in they're designed for lifting people by crane. And I'm going up in that basket with them. And I'm afraid of heights. A little windy today. Am I gonna die today? No. <laughs> Just relax. Trust the uh, crane operator and enjoy the views. We're ready to cable up, right? Oh, jeez. <laughs> does remind me of a fair ride. I wasn't planning on having this view today. I know, but the Adirondacks. Whoa. And there's your house right there's there. There's my house! I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> and there you see the metal cap. I do. So that's where the water's been coming in. Yep, pretty much the main force holding this up is gravity. People think that mortar is glue, and it's not glue. If you had a big enough chain and a big enough winch, you could just pull this thing right over. This is all new brick, the oranger ones, yep. Okay. Yep, because what's happened is, you see they're starting to crack? Yep. And we've taken out all the badly cracked ones. The Winooski Falls Mill District is rich in history. There have been many mills on this spot, and the Chase Mill was built in 1892. The former cotton mill harnessed the water power to run its large machines. The smokestack was built in the early 1900s to vent the steam boilers. The stack has been non-operational for decades, and the building is now used for mixed commercial use. The stack is iconic and a big part of the Burlington skyline by the falls. Basically, I just got to be gentle, you know, can't slam the basket in too hard because, uh, but the wind sometimes does that anyways. They tell me how much they want me to move or which direction, and I... I pretty much put them where they want to be. Honestly, I just can't look down. That's right down I this way. I can't do it. All weekend, I feel like <laughs> I'm hanging from a string. You you are hanging from yeah, a string. Exactly. I hate to exactly. tell you that. As chimneys and smokestacks do, they fall apart from the top down because water gets into them. It's water that that in the freezing and thawing and it just breaks everything apart. It is colder up here. It can be warm and calm down here. You get up there, it's chilly and windy. Okay, I feel the rocking. You just kind of work with that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's yeah. like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, my. You were up there during the snowstorm. I was. What was that like? Uh, it was intense. It was intense. I'd read, I was ready to get done what I had to and get back down. This is extreme snow. It starts getting cold and you just can't do it. So we are here just at the end. We literally are just gonna make it. I love that despite this, the crane is so high tech, but what you're doing is kind of what they did a hundred years ago. Pretty much. I take a lot of pride in it. I can only imagine how it was built originally. It's a challenge for us to do it this day and age. So I can only imagine what they went through and dealing with elements and everything else uh, just to build that, just one of them. They didn't have this crane, I can tell you No, that. they did not have the crane. <laughs> I've been operating a crane for 38 years. When I was a kid, I had a Tonka truck crane and concrete trucks and dump trucks. So uh -huh. <laughs> this crane weighs 100,000 pounds as it sits. It's at 175 feet right now. I can extend it to 205. We've done a lot of accident removal on the interstate, big tractor trailers, big trucks, set monuments at the cemeteries, modular houses. A little bit of everything. But this is all new grout here. Oh, okay. It's a lime mortar, so there's no Portland in it. Modern mortars have a Portland cement in it. 
uh, which is very hard, and it, these old bricks, 100-year-old bricks are very soft. If you put hard mortar in a soft brick, it'll break the brick, which is what's happened up top. So we're putting in a high lime mortar, sort of more of a historic mortar. That squeezes out like frosting, yeah, like a pastry bag, you just, yeah. and it squeezes out into all these, very quickly fills these joints. I'm 135 feet in the air, yeah. and I'm at the top of the smokestack that I can see from my house. In the industry, they call it a, a man basket. A man basket. But it, as you can see. With one lady in it. It's not. <laughs> not it is today. a person basket. <laughs> yes. So what else can you tell me about these bricks? They were made in Essex, Vermont. What? Yes. At the brickyard. And who built this? It was American Chimney, wasn't it? American Chimney, yes. The areas that we've done, uh, you'll notice are more flush with the face of the brick than the older stuff. That's originally what it looked like. It was more flush. And what we're doing is compacting the mortar and slicking it so it's weatherproof. Wow. It's called striking. This is amazing. It's a cool job. We're coming down right to the parking lot. Ah, uh -huh. here we go. Here we go. It's happening. He is giving us a ride. I'm just pretending he I'm like. Up and over this guy. He did. Oh, yeah. That's good. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Wow. What a ride. And it is very satisfying. And, you know, this kind of respiration is totally fun. Down safe. Oh my God, I'm so glad. <laughs> Pretty amazing views up there, and we will get stuck in Vermont View again real soon. Tell me if I'm in the way. There's really nowhere I no, can go. No, there isn't. Yeah, if you could get out over there. <laughs> what I'm going to spread the word. Ava Sahlberger's got some pith. Oh, you know? geez. What some, do I have? Pith? Pith. It's a heart. Yeah, hood spikes that. It's the heartwood. Pith. Yep. Pith. I like it. I it's learned a heart. word and yep. I have pith.